Hello, I'm Ben Garrison. Today, I wanna to go over how to encrypt your Ubuntu Linux home folder and swap space post operating system installation. This won't achieve full disk encryption and that can only be done during installation of the operating system, but this will at least encrypt some valuable data. If you already have Ubuntu installed without any encryption, then full disk encryption with LUX or LUKS may not be an option. However, you can still encrypt your home directory and swap space without requiring a complete reinstallation of the operating system. Sometimes you need to be able to encrypt your home folder and not the entire disk. So say for example, you want to place your home folder in an an external de external device or a shared drive and you want to have each home folder separately encrypted um, i'm sure there's some other reasons or um, uh, use cases for wanting to only encrypt your home folder and your swap space um, but those are the ones that i can think of at the moment in a separate tutorial and video, um, I did go over the steps on how to deploy full disk encryption on your Ubuntu desktop using LUX or LUKS. Um, and in practice, this is the recommended method to protect an Ubuntu device since it encrypts the entire disk partition, including the swap space. And that will give you that full disk encryption. Now, being that this is a jump cloud tutorial, I would be amiss without pointing out the fact that encryption is a process that could result in data loss on your machine, please back up your home folder prior to performing any of these steps that we're going to talk about today. Additionally, if you are using the Jump Cloud agent to manage users on your machine, you may experience an unpleasant login loop if you reboot the machine prior to the user logging in with the new password. So just make sure that you are following these steps um, closely so that way we um, don't get any problems. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our terminal. So open up terminal and we have that open. Okay, first thing we wanna do is we're going to install um, the eCrypt utility as well as the Crypt setup. So we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in here, sudo apt install, and it's going to install the utilities that we need. I will post all of these commands down below. So after that installs, um, we are then going to go to the next step, which is to create a user account on this machine. So the user account that's on this machine is going to be what is used in order for us to encrypt this particular user profile. So you really can't encrypt yourself while you're using the data. So you have to log in as a separate user to then perform the rest of the steps. Okay, now that that's installed, let's go ahead and create our user. So we're going to do sudo add user and I'm going to use the encryption user. We're going to go ahead and add that. Um, we're going to create a new password. So I'm just going to create a very basic password. We're not going to enter in any of this information. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. Um, now that we have that new user, add that user to our sudo. So sudo user mod IG sudo encryption user. All right, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We need to log out of this user and log in with the user that we just created here. So let's go ahead and log out. Log out. We're not going to um, reboot at all during this process. All right, so now that we're logged in as the encryption user, we logged out of my old profile and now I'm in this new profile as the encryption user. Um, as you can see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, sudo, I think it's what, LSL, Ben, right? Um, password, um, that's fine, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so that is the user that we want to um, encrypt. So now what we want to do is we want to encrypt that home folder. So I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to paste that in there. Um, but then we want to do is we want to type in Ben, All right? And I'm doing the pasting because I don't want to worry about mistyping anything. Um, enter the password for, and okay. So that process for me took very, very little time because that user has nothing on or in their home folder, right? So right here right now do not do not restart your computer actually it says right here 
The file encryption appears to be completed. However, you must log in immediately before the next reboot to complete the migration in big, bold text. So please, please, please do not reboot your computer. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to confirm that everything was encrypted and we are going to log back in with that user. Okay, now that we are logged back in to my um, previous user, what we're gonna do is we're going to confirm that we actually have read write access. So we're gonna open up terminal again. Okay, and what's, what we're gonna do now is we're going to simply just create a, a file. And we're going to say this is a new file, just like that. And then you're going to hit control D. Okay. So now that um, we created that, we're going to say hello.txt. And we got the, this is a new file. All right. So now that we're able to read and write, um, what will happen is, is you will receive this update now or this, this pop up. You will probably receive this pop up prior to um, being able to do this. You can wait for this pop up. I just went and did this ahead of time. Um, being on a VM, sometimes um, this is a little delayed. So what we're going to do is we are now going to run the action. Okay. And we're going to enter um, your passphrase or your login. After you've done that, you can reveal the recovery password by using a quick terminal command. So there's the sudo ecrypt tf us unwrap passphrase. Um, which you can use. Um, if you use this and you hit enter it and, and enter your password, it should pull up your um, your recovery password. For me, however, I have to go to the direct um, file and then enter in my password here. And then there you go. Now you have your um, recovery password. Save that put it somewhere safe um, and you're good to go. Um, now we're going to go ahead and move on to encrypting our swap space. So First, what we're going to do is I don't think I have any swap space. Yeah, probably use none. Um, so I can do like free H here and I've got like no swap space being used. Um, but if you did want to um, encrypt your swap space, what you would do is you would run um, this command uh, right here, which would be um, sudo ecrypt setup swap into your password and I have no swap space, so uh, not a problem. So if you if you created a swap space and you had a swap space, then you can actually encrypt that and you just run this command to be able to do that. So now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to clean up our previous users, right? So we're going to we're going to we're going to copy paste this in sudo delete user remove home encryption user and we went ahead and deleted the user and we went ahead and deleted all of the home folders. Um, we will also want to remove a temporary folder. If you notice, right um, now, you also want to clean up um, this folder right here. This is a temporary folder that was created. It was a backup of the home folder for this user. So what we want to do is we would just want to we want to clean that up a little bit, right? So um, we're just going to do sudo rm rf um, home bin dot oh, bin dot there we go and we'll enter that and then we're done and that's how you encrypt your home folder as well as your swap space on an ubuntu um, operating system um, and you are good to go so i hope that has been helpful i hope that would get you going in the right direction um, and uh, if you do like these kind of videos please like and subscribe and thanks so much have a good day please subscribe and check out more content from us